You have to have a special. Yeah. I want to make sure this looks right. What's this ribbon? This is one. Okay. It doesn't show it. Mm -hmm. And see where that little notch there is? Yeah. yeah they don't. Know. They don't have the five G model here, but it's supposed to be go like here and here. Ah. This is your antenna right here. This guy here. Yeah. And this. All right. Both of these will control your signal. We're now thirty seconds in. Good evening, everybody from Cocoa Beach. I know, right? Crazy place to be at right now. Check out the sunset off in the distance. Oh, those are the modules? Mm -hmm. Those are the antennas? So that, that mark is the antenna. Okay. Right here. So is there a way to expand the antenna? Is there a way I could expand the antenna? I'll look into it for you. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Dude, we I, I know what you're talking about, though. I know something. Matt, I don't need a lot more. I need one more. Oh, I... I got you. I got it. It's not cheap, but I'll look at it. Good evening, everybody from Cocoa Beach. Um, we got a rocket launch, uh, Falcon Heavy, going off in less than about 26 minutes from now. I got Brandon here with me. What's up, Brandon? <laughs> Woo! He just got into this morning really early, so we've been taking him nice and easy. Uh, good news, everybody. We're going to Magic Kingdom tomorrow with Brandon in the evening. And in uh, Hollywood Studios Sunday, we are going to be bringing you guys fantastic Sunday this Sunday with Brandon. We got Brandon for a whole week. Guess what? New annual pass holder here as well. So Yes, I'm guilty. I have plenty of getting busy. hit with bugs right now. Yes. <laughs> lots of lots of bugs. Awesome. All right. So we got a little while. Here we can set this down here. Um, thanks for being here. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, as of right now, everything's a go for launch. So we're about to Sky, look at this, look at this right now. The, no, dude, the sky just cleared up. All day it's been super cloudy. We got a clear sky. And then if we tilt far enough back, we got the moon right there. Yeah, it's pretty much right above us. Yeah? Yeah. It could follow us. At the... Maybe that's where the rock is going. We got surfing going on out here. We're on the, we're on the Cocoa Beach Pier right now. Somewhere uh, I haven't actually ever been to before. Me and Brandon just, no joke whipped up an idea and here we are. All right, this looks pretty solid. What's going on, Captain Crunch? JJ, Mickey, Kawaii, Katie, nice to see you. Chris B, always nice to see you. Um, let's see, who else is here? We got Nathan, Nancy's here, hello. Oh, okay, so we got the Falcon Heavy. It's kind of a big deal. I mean, I mean, it's like 5.5 million pounds of thrust or something like that. It's, it's a big rocket. We're, we're gonna be able to see it with no problem from here. Right now, we're watching the other launch. This is the third burn right now. Look at how it's going. And it is cut engine right there. Yeah, I remember watching when, we, when, it, when it took off a little earlier. Than we oh, yeah, so we were gonna go and actually catch the first launch. There's two launches today. Um, the first launch already happened out there. So, um, of course, if you guys enjoyed today's video, like button, subscribe, free to do. Um, thank you, Patreon members and channel members, for all your continued support. Woo -hoo. And uh, Brandon, oh. longtime supporter. Back when we were the we nobodies. Remember the nobody days? Oh yeah, when it was we just uh, like two people watching the videos. Yep. Yeah. He used to be one of two people who would watch my live streams. Yes, yes. and I would. Return I would, was literally the other one. Yep. We, I would I would comment on every single one of them though, and they just yep. would respond. And then um, Shempy and Amanda love the travel. I see you, JV. What's going on? About to go in Club Thirty Three. Nice. JB's about to go to Club 33. It's an exclusive club. Oh, well. He's club popping. Club popping. Yeah, so let's see. We got 22 minutes exactly until launch. Um, I told you guys, I'm going to be doing different things in the future. This is one of them. I love rocket launch. I live in Florida, so rocket launches, yeah, I'm going to be pretty excited. Now, I, we are using the S23 Ultra right now. Will it look really good? I don't know. How long the stream? I don't know. Depends on how long the rocket goes. Well, it's like an eight minute flight from takeoff to landing. I don't know if we're getting the landing. Does anybody know if we're getting the landing? I mean, it could land anywhere. Some would say it could go for cheese. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, but I don't think that's the rocket. No, that's not it. It's we, we wish it's it, way it? out there in the distance. So. You, you, yeah, you gotta use your imagination to find use it. Use your imagination. Okay, so I could have done 
um, where I normally do, which is Titusville. I decided not to do Titusville. I watched the SLS launch from Titusville. This time I decided to come over here. All right, sounds good, James. Uh, JB out there holding it down. Mystic Parks is here? I mean, what? Oh. I got where I think the rock's gonna come up at. <laughs> What's going on, Theo Sam? Okay, Mystic Parks is here, what's up? Uh, hi, Ron, I'll be at Disney in 15 days, that's awesome. 15 more days. All right, we're down to 20 minutes, 21 minutes. Um, so, Check out the view. Oh man, the cloud went away. Oh, but look at this red out there. I took a picture of it. Did you? Let me just pop it up. It's, it's not the best, but it's, it'll do. You can see, beautiful night here. Okay. Brandon's going to show us a picture he took. That was literally just minutes ago. I was trying to get it all done. Oh, no problem. Thank you so much for saying that. That was very nice, Nancy. Um, all right, JB, no problem. Um, oh, we got the Viking brand in here. Yeah, we, we rode on the plane with the... Oh, show them the picture, yeah, show them the picture. Oh, we rode on the plane with the Indy outfit. Brandon flew down looking like Indiana Jones, everybody. Yep, he did that. Yeah. And what did the Uber person say? Did they say anything about you? No, no, they didn't say anything, but... I just, no, this time, not many people paid too much attention to the Indy outfit. <laughs> They're right, it's Brandon. Everybody knows who Brandon is now. What's going on, Hannah Rose? Kim, nice to see you. Disney mom, hello. Hello, everybody. Um, like I said, we are going to watch the launch in about 20 minutes. I know, it's a little different. I know, right? We got Kim. And uh, for those who are checking in, yes, we'll be back in the parks tomorrow with... Um, 19 minutes, okay. Uh, we'll be back in the parks tomorrow with Brandon. He gets to tap his first time annual pass tomorrow. Uh, we'll be going to Magic Kingdom, uh, in, or in the evening portion, later in the day. And then, of course, happily ever after and all that good stuff. And then Sunday, we're gonna do Fantasmic Sunday. I know it's only one showing, but we're gonna do it. We got Star Wars on Thursday. Um, we're gonna be doing the Star Wars day. It's cool, man. Yeah, they are. Right, their fuel is in the rocket. It's going to be a very bright show. It's gonna, yeah, it will, it will brighten our day for sure. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> Disney and everybody in Ulf. JJ. Yeah, that's um, Brandon. We literally picked up his annual pass earlier today. Yes, we, we got from the flight, and I resisted the sleep, and then we went and picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon was really tired when we got here. So we took a chill day. We went to... There we got Gideon's. Um, wife said the morning coffee cookie was delicious. Uh, we got Oreo cookies. What else we do? Chick Fil A. We mailed out some win. Huh? Is it a birthday? Disney Mom's birthday. Disney just dinner. got back from Disney Mom's 19. Oh well, happy birthday, Disney Mom 19. Happy birthday! Woo -hoo. Spencer Tim, always nice to see you. Stephanie, hello. I mean, look at this view right now. It is very pretty. I mean, with the, Here, with the let's give you guys a little more. In about seven, 18 minutes when that thing goes off, you'll it'll be really hard to miss. Oh, yeah, no. I, um, so I was on the Disney Cruise in February? Right there. That's where I think The Rock is coming okay, from. Okay, right there? Yeah, okay. right between those two little buildings. So I was with the family back in February? When, when did I do the family trip? January. January? What January. We did a Disney Dream out of Miami. Mm. And I was able to see the Falcon Heavy launch from down in um, uh, south of Key Largo. So, give you an idea how bright this thing. And that wasn't even at night. Yeah. Not at night? Well, it, it was, it's a little darker now than it was when I launched it. Well, this so. is my first rocket launch. This uh, is Brandon's first rocket launch. It's pretty cool. Cool. I like fire. <laughs> Like I say, <laughs> he likes fire. I will. I will critique this very. We are strictly. 17 minutes out from launch. It's a pretty cool. Uh, you know, the clouds are pretty neat. Like uh, pinkish I know, color. Right? That pinkish color right there. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I love the palm trees between that pink. It's one of my favorite things. Solid connection here, by the way. Yeah. Uh, 
Is that a... What's that? Oh. Dude, no way. What is that? Is that the barge already? From Earth? Is that the barge? No, I can't. No. It, it's flat. No, it's another barge. It's not the rocket barge from earlier. Oh, but could it be the new rocket barge? No. It could be if it It's just a to? supply. It's a supply barge. Oh, supply barge. It's a barge. Well, um, we got a uh, September cruise. You guys know I'm going on D uh, Disney Wish again in September. So expect some one in the morning live streams again like we did last time. Oh, well, thank you for being here, Hannah. And uh, I did I did get dessert party tickets for Happily Ever, so I was very happy for that. Ooh, that sounds fun. Mm -hmm. I need to really do that. Dessert party tickets? Yeah, so there's a dessert party. It's a, so you not only do you have to have a ticket or a, an annual pass to the park, but you also have to buy a separate ticket for the dessert party. And it's like a hundred and something dollars. Is it like every day you go to the dessert party? No, it's just one time. Oh, so when you when is this the dessert party happening? During the fireworks. What fireworks? What do you mean what fireworks? Every night? Yeah. Oh, so it's like a hundred night? Yeah, it's a hundred every night. But I mean, if you wanted to go every night. Okay. What kind of oh, what kind of dessert are we talking about? I don't know really. I've never actually personally seen the desserts, but it also includes like some wines and beers. Well, I mean, I don't really. Care. I don't drink. Either, yeah, I don't yeah, drink. Yeah. Either. Yeah. But so. I do like the dessert idea. We could always try it out. Just a look at it's it. A little spank. Oh, well, I mean, we can figure it out. Where is it? Disney. Disney Mag Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll talk more but, about it later. But it's you have to uh, get a. Uh, a reservation kind of in advance. You guys get pretty busy. All right, we're under 15 minutes to launch everybody. So far, everything says uh, systems go. It would be the be the guy that like like view it from the far far reaches of like a ride, make the people mover. What the launch? No, no, the oh. dessert the dessert trays. Oh, just like look back there, like you're. Uh, well, you can you can actually see some of them from the uh, the rope. Uh, when you're at the Magic Kingdom. Oh, okay. There's also a dessert party for, uh, what's it called? Uh, Fantasmic. I, oh, well, that's not bad. I mean, no offense, but I'd be more interested in a queso party. I like Is cheese. the boosters returning here at Cape Canaveral, or are they returning at, in, uh, on barges? Because mm. if they return here, we'll definitely hear them from here. Man. There's part of me who wishes we were over at Titusville, and then there's the other part of me that's like, eh, it's okay. I mean, I, I think it's kind of cool. You 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 get it you get like you get to see it rise over the little uh, the, the building. Again, I still say it by my. Oh, keep going. I'm enjoying. It. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> I'm watching on five different channels of the launch hole. Uh, that's awesome. See. So as you can see, we are. We could have done from the the point where the canal is way over there, but like, I don't know. I thought this was cool. the The sky has completely cleared up. We're gonna be able to see all of it. We can feel special. <laughs> you feel special. I mean, what other place are you gonna get enjoy waves and uh, rocket? I mean. I mean, oh, pretty much anywhere, but... Small world? Small world, yeah. <laughs> you can see me rocket off that ride. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is a very small Hello, ride. Star Family. Oh, Hi, Star Family. The lights here. <sighs> I know, it's right? It's not too windy. No, there's no wind. It's really yeah. interesting. Waves are two to three feet right now. Stuff. Yeah, it must be a small little mini quake. Mini quake. Mini quake. Mini quake. For those um, who had emailed me the other day, um, those prize winners have been mailed out. The one I received today will be mailed out tomorrow. Um, and then, oh man, it just. And then I got an order. We have some stuff to do tomorrow. That's why we're not going live tomorrow morning. We're in. Uh, we're not on a uh, Titusville. We're actually down south of Titusville in uh, Cocoa Beach. We're on the Cocoa Beach Pier. All right, Stephanie. Have a good evening. Oh, is she leaving? Bye, right, Stephanie. Let's see. May the Viking be with you. May the Viking be with you. 
Yeah. I didn't. Hold on a second. You keep dropping your phone, it's scaring me. And in the Maui Invitation Big Wave competition in 2009, I wrote the road that Skip doesn't tell. <laughs> there you go. Bo Peep. Brandon won the Maui Invitation Big Wave competition. I mean, I do like to. I do consider myself to be an excellent surfboard. Are you looking for the, the location? We're 16 miles away. Yeah. Oh man, we're a lot further than I thought we were. Yeah. I still I still stand by my, my estimated location. How long till the rocket? We have about T-minus 10 minutes and about 40 seconds till the yeah, launch. Yeah, other place, we're going to be 12 miles away. Oh, so we're about the same? Yeah, we're not much. We're further, but we're not much further. Titusville is right there. I would say the rocket would be visible. No, yeah, it should be, right? From Disney World? Yes, it is definitely visible from Disney World. You're going to want to look west. So if you're at Magic Kingdom, look north. That's the castle. And then look to the right. The like right. to, to towards Tomorrowland or out past Tron. But you want to look? Wait, east, east. East is here, right? East. Yeah, you want to look east, not west. <laughs> if you look west, you're guaranteed to miss it. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. If you're no, you're good. If you're at Hollywood Studios, go in front of the Old Chinese Theater. Look over Gertie. If you're at, uh, well, you can't be at Animal Kingdom anymore because it's closed. But look past Everest. We've actually seen the rocket launches from all these different locations. And then, what's the other one? Um, Epcot. Look towards Test Track slash uh, Guardians. Yes. Look towards a big ball of fire that's going to be in the sky. Yeah. Or yeah. you can just look in the sky and it's going to be visible because... The second sun? I remember we can see the Falcon 9s from uh, Magic Kingdom without... This is Falcon Heavy. This is much brighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, there's a joke made to you. There they go. Right there. One, uh, Brandon won the Maui Invitational Big Wave Competition 2009. He drove the uh, escape jet ski. <laughs> nice, Bo Peep. So I was trying to get the, the distances down to see how far we are. We are currently 16 miles away. If we went here, we could be eight, but it gets kind of obstructed. We could yeah. be in this area. Um, this is where we were. What's the what's the like the closest you should be recommended away from a rocket? Oh, I don't have a recommended distance. Uh, five feet. Five feet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as long as we have a big enough uh, like shield, we oh, should whoa, be fine. Whoa, whoa. And earplugs, right? The project card strong enough? Yeah, project card. There you go. Yeah, project card. The beach Shelly was going to have us go to was right... <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. This is where Shelly wanted us to be. We'd be four miles away. Oh, that would be nice. But it's closed at night. It's closed at night? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, hope for the best, plan for the worst. A lot of people are enjoying the waves. Most people live mid-country or not near the beach, so this is... I do enjoy the waves as well. You live in the middle of the country. Uh, you live in the country. Yeah, yeah I like twin. to put a seashell to my ear <laughs> at night. Hear those waves. It's warm and humid. Humid. I. I believe you cannot see the launch directly because it's going to, again, at least my theory is, I believe it's going to be way between here and there. That's my thoughts. I could be wrong. It could be all the way to the right. Wait, there's a rocket launch tonight? I uh, thought we were here for surf competition. Yeah, oh, I better get, I mean, I am wearing swimming trunks. He is. Theoretically, I could go swimming in the beach. You can watch me frolic. I tell you, that's definitely um, definitely worth the 30-minute show of me splashing in some water. All right, well, it looks like we're good to have that launch still go. Oh, we're uh, T-minus six minutes and 30 seconds. 
Fifty. You're excited. I'm not excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited actually about this, everybody. We are just a couple minutes out now. Thanks for being here. I know this is like impromptu, random live stream. I know, right? Wild. Uh, interesting question for you. Yeah, go for it. So, usually at night when you uh -huh. see birds fly, it's usually yeah. bats. What about seagulls? Do they fly at night? I mean, I just saw some flying. Up well, there. as soon as that rocket launches, every bird around that area flies. <laughs> okay, point taken. Oh, I got a message. Hold on. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. And there it is. We just got the email from the last prize winner. There we go. Those will be mailed out. Hopefully. Oh. Got it. Okay, yep. I can ship that out tomorrow. Okay, that's not a problem. So, yeah, we got a... We got all the prize winners have officially contacted us and we'll have their stuff mailed out. Awesome. Now we are just a couple minutes away from the launch. We are five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Narrator. It's been um, it's been a long time since I've been to the beach. Huh? Um, for me, it was literally the last time I was on a cruise. It was the last time I've been to the beach. That was a good wave. Those are good waves. That yeah, there right are now. some big ones. Some rollers. Can they hear the Can they hear the waves? Yeah, they can definitely hear the waves. Just kind of relaxing. I bet there could be a stream that's solely based off these waves. There already is. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah. There's already streams and stuff that are not even streams, just videos too. Just oh. videos? I mean, yeah, you can just get seashells and listen to it anytime you want. I'm just going to hold two seashells up to each microphone on the camera, uh, on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got stereo shell. It's just. That's awesome, John. Five miles from the last NASA space shuttle. All right, everybody. Don't lose signal on me, I mean, you're full Mars. 5G no, plus? What's 5G shopping. plus? I know, but we lose. Because everyone's pulling their phones out? Yeah. Well, he's starting to build up. What to expect? There's only one launch right now. Well, there was a second launch that we missed earlier. There was a yeah. There was a launch earlier today. We we missed it quite a bit. Then it landed. Huh? And it landed on the barge. Yeah. I thought. Remember when we thought it was going to land in the same spot? We're like, no. Oh, I know. I was like, is that a return launch? Oh man. All right, we are coming up on three minutes, everybody. We not we have details. But imagine if your job was to launch the rockets with back when we were, you know, the, the whole, uh, uh, what do we call it? Space shuttle age? Yeah. Space shuttle age was crazy. They were just solid fuel. There was no shutting them off. Remember when you would you'd guide me backwards to have me park the vehicle? Imagine in a rocket. Just a little bit back, a little bit back. Just a little more. <laughs> just a little more. Okay, you backed into the building. With a rocket, Brandon. Brandon's pretty destructive, everybody. Oh, we got a hundred lights. Woo. All right. I'm going to use the power of the S23 zoom. Uh, two and a half minutes. Are you at two and a half? So my stuff is 20 seconds behind. 20 to 30. Mm, yeah. That's actually not bad. But it's why it looks so clean. There's one more time to process. All right, two minutes, everybody. Thanks for being here. Hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I know it's different, right? We got some vlogs coming out with Brandon too. We're gonna be doing some stuff. He doesn't even know what Bucky's is. I sent him Bucky's things. I thought it was supposed to be just like a weird chipmunk. He doesn't from... know what Bucky's is. Uh, so obviously Chip we're making right? we're making we're making a stop at Bucky's. Yeah, it's Chip Jeez, and Dale. I don't even know what to do. With. When you stop two different Bucky's, 
things. I thought oh, it was Wendy. shipped on both sides. All right, everybody, we're coming down to the final minute. Um, again, we're on a phone, so I don't know how this is going to zoom, but we're going to give it the best shot. <laughs> we are... One minute. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm so gonna. So where you think it, where you think it's gonna come out? You thought it was gonna be over like, there. Oh, I don't, I don't right? really care. I don't really care where it comes out of. Mm. I, I mean, was totally wrong at Magic Kingdom one night. I thought it was gonna be to the left, and it wasn't. All right, everybody. You got the timer on yours, right? Hold on. We got 30 seconds. No, 40 seconds. 40 seconds. All right, I'm gonna get you guys ready. Get ready. It's fine. It's the same. Okay. But it's gonna camera. it's gonna turn on right now. Yeah, you're good. I got I'm it. Turn my everything down. What if I just did a time lapse? happens every time. What happened? It's over. They're not launching. It's all over? Yeah. What happened? Full, fully aborted the launch. Oh, it got delayed now we got aborted, huh? Yeah. It was a perfect night for it, though. Definitely the complexity of all the heavy We can roam around a little bit. Hold on, we'll double check, make sure. It is, it is a beast. It's all right, and just like we saw with Super Heavy right. as well. Super Heavy is very complicated. Hold on. But this is a very special kind of, of complicated, not... right? Whether you have different fuelings, oh, different rates, yeah. things like that. Yeah, it's... You know, Wait for it, it may not be over. That, when, the, when it is T minus one minute, Falcon Heavy computers take control of the countdown. They also run checks. So it's very, it's very usual at that point if they might... So we'll be sure to get that update to you as soon as we can. But I'm high. Could be honest, aborted, Falcon launch success. So it says not scrubbed. Not scrubbed. No, not yet. It's not scrubbed yet. So we could potentially still see a... Yeah. They don't have a lot of time because these rockets only can hold fuel for so long. Mm. Um, before the temperature changes inside. So, either way. Um, Brandon has not been to Bucky's. He doesn't even know it's a gas station. It's a gas station? Oh my gosh. See what I mean? I wasn't even joking, everybody. I was assuming it at least been something in Disney. No, no. Maybe at least a... I sent him a, uh, a Bucky's cup, and he was like, so is this a chipmunk? Man. Well, if they do this at this time tomorrow, we'll be at Magic Kingdom. So we'll just watch it for Magic Kingdom. It's very pretty. It just got really warm. Very pretty. Is that my shot? Yeah, that's this, this live right now. Man, it looks good. I know, it looks beautiful. It looks more better on than my phone. Oh, you know why? Because I have the screen protector on it. No, it's because it, this was lit up no, for the button? No, no. Oh. Literally, the screen protector makes it look grainy. Yeah, yeah, it's because it's anti glare. Yeah. Yeah, you got matte. Yeah. So. It's very pretty, though. I like the looks. You need to go to Bucky's? Oh, yeah. Brandon needs to I mean, to go what to do Bucky's. they serve? Like chicken? Burgers? They, they, 
they, I mean, he doesn't even know what they serve at Bucky's. Like, maybe it's just a drink cup. That that's it. Is okay. We did have a abort called at uh, T minus 59 seconds. We're just waiting for some additional information from the teams oh. to provide everyone with an update. The vehicle and payload remain healthy, and we will provide an update as soon as possible. Okay, so yeah, they're they're gonna explain why it got shut down, but it doesn't sound like it's gonna. Happen. This is the problem with Rocket League. You know when I when they were doing this SLS launch, mm. I went to every one of them. I mean, just hopes that it would uh... that it would launch. So every time I went to an SLS launch, I drove all the way out to uh, Titusville. I'd park at Titusville, and then that one time it was at two thirty in the morning. I'm like, man, this is the last time I'm driving Titusville, and then I finally went. So if you guys want to check out the Titusville video, unfortunately. Um, my camera would record right as the rocket launched, so like it was like a split second where I'm like trying to hit the record button. <laughs> Jen says it's locked. I, I bet they scrub it because of. <laughs> Would they scrub it because of the, the jump? No, I'm just saying like it, it's. Oh. <laughs> well, we hit zero seconds. I was sitting there looking. Yeah, we didn't actually hit zero. No. No. I was counting it. It, 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 count, it aborts itself. It aborts um, itself? If there's any kind of... There could be a boat out in the water that's not supposed to be where it's at. Um, there's all kinds of things that could, could be. Could be that we're not close enough. Or we are not close enough. Well, tomorrow we're going to be at Magic Kingdom. So if they do this tomorrow night, we're going to see it from the Magic Kingdom. It'd be magical. It'd be magic, yeah. The magical Falcon Heavy. So, so Watch, I bet it, they do it during... A, okay, so last... The last time I watched the rocket launch for Magic Kingdom, the fireworks ended, and I went over and I was able to catch the rocket launch all at the same time. Nice. Yeah. Oh, good night there, Kelly. Good night, Kelly. We did call an abort at T minus 59 seconds. The vehicle and payload remain healthy. Keep in mind the purpose of the countdown is to help us catch potential issues prior to flight. There are thousands of ways to launch a rocket, and there's only one way that it can go right. Given that, we are overly cautious on the ground, and if the team or vehicle sees anything that just looks even slightly off, they will stop the countdown. Again, the vehicle and payload are in good health. So, that, that's it. Oh, I forgot to, what did he say? Tomorrow availability? He said everything looked healthy. Hold on. Tomorrow at 826. Hold on. There are thousands of ways to launch a rocket. Again, the vehicle and payload are in good health, but this will end our launch attempt for today. The next launch opportunity is tomorrow at 826 p.m. Eastern Time. 826 p.m. tomorrow. We'll be at Magic Kingdom 30 minutes before fireworks. So what we mean? Is that rocket just going to be an addition? Is that going to be like the, the wish upon a star? Yeah, there's a wish upon a star, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, so they're going to say this on fireworks, you're just going to see a rocket in the thing. Yeah. Well, I am so sorry, everybody. Oh, I mean, we can roll them around. There we go. Woo! It's a little warm out. I like the lights. You see this? I know. It's so nice. Check this out. B. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Brandon, how you uh, enjoying Florida? You used to live here. Brandon used to live in Florida. Yeah, you know, nothing changed. Just more wavy. Is that lightning off the distance? Oh, a, oh yeah, yeah, there lightning. is lightning. We got lightning off in the distance. Hold on, everybody. Let's check this out. There's a lot of lightning off in the distance. So. If the launch happens tomorrow, we'll be watching it from somewhere in the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, see, I was worried I had a smudge on the lens. I knew it. What's it? Oh, so, well, I'll have Brandon with me tomorrow um, as a Magic Kingdom. We're going to do Magic Kingdom things with this guy. It's going to be his first day using his brand new annual pass. Official annual pass holder owner. Official pass holder user tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do a lot of things. And for, we, like, we will we, see if we can get on Tron. I don't know if he'll get on Tron or not. 
Uh, it depends on what time we get there and everything. Uh, then Sunday, we're going to be at Hollywood Studios. We're going to do the Hollywood Studios thing. Which is do the Fantasmic show. Uh, again, and then Monday morning, we're going to go to Epcot. Because there's Epcot things he needs to do. Yes, yes. Monday? You guys remember the last time he was at Epcot. Epcot. <laughs> and then... <laughs> um, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll figure things out, uh, what we're going to do. <laughs> Thursday, Holly, or, yeah, Hollywood Studios for Star Wars night and Star Wars day or whatever you want to call it. And may the 4th be with you. And then Friday, he flies home. Friday, I get prepared for the 24 hours of live streaming. That's right. We're going to be live for 24 hours straight. That's me. Just me. I say we because I hope you guys are hanging out with me at like 3 in the morning going, la, 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 la. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it, actually. Uh, I've been thinking about doing this for months. Finally going to do it. I like your dance. You guys want some dance moves? You might want to tune in tomorrow. Brandon's about to show us up how it's done. You put such a high standard, my dance moves no longer matter. Uh, okay. I, I mean, I, I can, I don't know how to dance, but I can, I do some movement. <laughs> so again, I want to thank everybody for being here. Sorry that the launch has been canceled. Uh, it was hopeful. I don't do these very often because they are very, they don't happen very much. Yeah, most, I mean, most of the time the launches don't happen. That's the, that's the only rough part about the launches. You can never plan if it's going to go or not. Like I said, I would have live streamed the SLS launch. But I went to it five different times. I think. I mean, technically, we watched the first launch remotely. We did. We did. But I still didn't see it. So. Yeah, but there's two more launches before you leave. Well, I'll have to give it a shot. Yeah. You never know when. We on the second. There's a launch out of here, but I don't know what time it is. Are you clearing out? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. I got, I got it. Oh. All right, everybody, we got to get out of here. So thanks for watching. I hope. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm sorry about this, everybody. Have a wonderful night. And thank you, everybody. We'll see you soon. Huh? Okay. So, no, it was, it was worth a shot. 150 people. Yeah. Oh. The rock